Hello everyone, I'm Sam from Huawei App Gallery and welcome to App Gallery Connect Academy. Today, I'll be talking about open testing. With an open testing service, you can invite trusted users to test your app before it is released. In this way, you can find bugs and make improvements to the app in advance. Currently, apps in certain industries require open testing. For example, some apps in the finance and banking industry must pass open testing before release so that regulators can monitor the apps in advance. Such regulators may hope that apps to be tested can be downloaded only by certain users from an official channel. Open testing helps you improve the app quality in the development phase by inviting trusted test users, which also meets requirements of regulators. In other words, open testing provided by App Gallery Connect is something you can do before official release to ensure app quality. Currently, open testing can be internal or external. The difference between an internal test and an external test lies in the number of invited users and the review process. Open testing is now based on the invitation mechanism in which only invited users can be notified of the test. They can then download the app to be tested on App Gallery only after accepting the invitation. Next, let's move on to the overall process of the open testing service. Capabilities with a white background are ready and those with a red background are being planned. The overall process involves three roles, developer, reviewer, and test user. To start, a developer configures the test user list and test scope in App Gallery Connect. Then, the developer applies for the release of the open testing version. The test type, that is internal or external test, must be specified during application. Up to 100 users can be invited for an internal test and the app can be released without review. Up to 5,000 users can be invited for an external test, but the app can be released only after review. After the test is approved, test users will receive an invitation via email or SMS, and the test user's devices will automatically launch App Gallery after the invitation is accepted. The users can then download the app on its details page. Next, we will integrate the Huawei Crowd Testing app, through which users can accept test tasks and report test feedback to you. At the same time, you can summarize and analyze the test users and their test feedback based on crowd testing. Next, let's see how to complete an open test, which involves four steps. Steps one and two are what you need to do, and the rest are user operations. Step one, configure the scope of test users. To do this, sign into App Gallery Connect, click Users and Permissions, and create a user scope based on the test list. You can invite users with Huawei IDs to take part in open testing by manually inputting the IDs or importing them in batches. Huawei IDs may be email addresses or phone numbers prefixed with the country code. Step two, apply for an open testing version. To do this, click My Apps and select Yes for version for open testing under open testing on the version information page. Then select test users from the user list that was created in step one. If you only want an internal test, select used for early access free of manual review, in which case up to 100 users can be invited and there is no review required. Generally, an app to be internally tested can be automatically released a few hours after application. If you don't select that internal test option, the test will be an external one, so manual review is required and up to 5,000 users can be invited. After an external test is approved or an internally tested app is released, the invitation will be sent to test users via email or SMS. Step three, a test user taps the link in the invitation email or SMS to accept the invitation. If App Gallery has been installed on the user's device, it will automatically launch and the details page of the app to be tested will be displayed. If App Gallery has not been installed on the user's device, the user will be prompted to install the client first and download the app to be tested. And there you go. We've now covered the entire process of the open testing service. Now, let's move on to the last section, the operation experience for users. After receiving an invitation email or SMS, a user can accept the invitation by tapping the link to jump to the page. 
If the user accepts the invitation, the user's device will automatically launch App Gallery and a details page of the app to be tested will be displayed. Note that the user must sign into App Gallery with the Huawei ID that is invited. Otherwise, the user will be unable to find the app to be tested on App Gallery. In other words, only users who accept the invitation are valid test users and able to download the app to be tested. Uninvited users will not receive invitation emails or SMS messages and cannot download the app to be tested. Well, that brings us to the end of the operation experience for users. For an open test that has taken effect, some target users may be missed out from the invitation. But don't worry, you can still add more test users later. You can do this by editing the test user list of an app that is to be tested. The added test users can take effect without review, but be aware that you need to manually send an independent invitation. Sometimes test users may fail to receive the invitation or search for the app to be tested. You can check the status of test users on the version information page. The states include unsent, invited, accepted, installed, and unsubscribed. The unsent state means that the invitation email or SMS failed to be sent. The invited state means that the user is invited but has not yet accepted the invitation. The accepted state means that the user has accepted the invitation of open testing. If a user has accepted the invitation and installed the app to be tested, the user enters the installed state. Some users prefer to unsubscribe from the invitation email or SMS and will be in unsubscribe state. Know that if the Huawei ID of a user is bound to both the email address and phone number, after the user unsubscribes from the invitation email, they will no longer receive the invitation SMS. For users in accepted or invited state, you can send the invitation again to remind them. Missed users can also be sent the invitation in this way. Well, that's all for this episode of App Gallery Connect Academy. To learn more about our services, scan the QR code to visit our website. And if you have any questions, please send us an email. Thanks for watching and see you next time.